Welcome to another episode of the Love Hub channel, where we talk about love and relationship advice for women. In this video, we're going to share with you 8 tips on how to kiss with tongue with someone for the first time. Tip number 1. Take your time when kissing. According to Marin, the best tip in terms of kissing is to go slow and ease your way into every kiss. If you're feeling anxious about your kissing abilities, that anxiety is likely spurring you into rushing your way through it. But no one likes kissing someone who is hyperactive and all over the place. It can be a bit icky and sloppy. The most important thing is that you are present in the situation, paying attention to you and to what feels right in the moment with someone. So relax and take your time when kissing. Make sure to enjoy the experience as well. Tip number one. Tip number two. Use the right amount of pressure. One of the most basic ways that people mess up when French kissing is by going to the extreme with the amount of pressure they use whenever they kiss someone. Instead of making it feel pleasurable, too much pressure can make it feel painful for someone. Some people are way too forceful with their kiss and wind up bumping teeth, pushing their partner backwards, or coming off as extremely aggressive. While other people are shy and timid, and their kisses end up feeling lifeless, some people like relaxed lips, firm, or even wide and soft. It all depends on your partner, so good communication with your partner is also very important. Try to find out what they like and what they don't like. You will find this out by their response to your advances and to your kiss. Tip number two, use the right amount of pressure. Tip number three, use your tongue wisely. Another common characteristic of bad kissing is using way too much tongue. When you first start kissing someone, you should keep the tongue out of it until things start to get more intense. Focus more on all the different ways you can kiss with just your lips, keeping your mouth closed, opening it slightly, intertwining your lips with your partners, then pouting your lips, and so on. In terms of skill, kissing is about the lips first. Once you master pressure and lip technique, you can figure out tongue motions. Please do not copy what you see in porn videos when it comes to what they do with their tongues. It does not feel good for most women especially and some guys don't like it as well. So again, listen to the feedback from your partner or be observant about it. What do they like and what do they not like? Tip number three, use your tongue wisely. Tip number four, get your whole body involved. The best kisses involve your entire body, not just your lips. While kissing on the lips is a great place to start, it's also important to remember that the lips aren't the body's only erogenous zone, which are the places on your body that are scientifically proven to be sexually aroused when touched. You can use your hands to caress your partner's hair and face, match the kiss to the moment, soft if it's tender, harder if it's more intense. So tip number four is get your whole body involved. That's part of the joy of kissing. Don't just focus on the lips and tongue alone. It is an entire experience for your entire body. Tip number five, be a tease between kisses. Teasing your partner between kisses can be a ton of fun. It is pretty sexy to pull your lips away and gently stroke their lower lip with your thumb. Breaking away from the kiss and looking your partner in the eye with a sly smile on your face can also be a flirty way to gauge if they are also into it. Pull back the tiniest bit, not even a half inch. If your partner follows you or pounces, they are having a good time. You can try this a few times throughout, but don't make it a game of chasing you down because that can be tiring as well. Tip number five, be a tease between kisses and you will also see the natural response of your partner. If they come chasing after your lips or they come towards you, that means they haven't had enough and that means they're enjoying the moment. Tip number six, adapt your technique. You can work on kissing techniques all you want, but the reality is that figuring out how to kiss someone will be different 
with each and every person that you kiss. Because everyone has their own unique kissing style. When you are kissing someone, pay attention to what your partner is doing and what they seem to respond to best. Kissing is like dancing. One person leads and the other one follows. If you apply what you practiced, see how your partner responds and adjust as needed to be in sync. Tip number six, adapt your technique. Tip number seven, don't judge yourself. Even after all these various techniques to experiment with, don't try to get out of your head and stop analyzing what you're doing in the moment. Just feel what is happening. If you still feel anxiety, it also doesn't hurt to just talk to your partner about it. To calm this anxiety about kissing, you have to feel trust with your partner. When you trust your partner, you can feel as safe as possible while kissing, and you can enjoy yourself more as you relax more. Your partner will have a better time too if you are in a more relaxed state. So tip number seven, don't judge yourself and if you're new to French kissing, don't expect perfection. Just be open to your partner that you're a little bit anxious, that this is all new to you, and that he has to teach you how he likes it done. Tip number seven, don't judge yourself and don't be too hard on yourself. Tip number eight, find out what feels good to you. Because French kissing or kissing in general is not just about pleasing your partner. It is about pleasuring yourself as well. Try to focus on finding the kissing style and technique that you enjoy the most. You figure out what feels good, not just to your partner, but to yourself as well. Always remember, kissing is supposed to be fun, both for your partner and for yourself. Follow what feels good and natural to you. Close your eyes and lose yourself in the moment. Pay attention to the signals your partner is sending you by looking at where they place their hands on your body or whether or not they are kissing you back because if they are responding to your kisses, that means that they are enjoying themselves. Chances are you won't be doing it wrong if you notice that your partner is having a good time and you are having a good time as well. If your partner stops you or pulls away, ask what is wrong or ask what you can do better. It's simple. It's as simple as that. In kissing, find the most comfortable way for you and your partner. Before you kiss someone, be it with tongue or not, always, always ask permission before you do it. Even if they're a guy, you don't want to be kissing someone who doesn't want to be kissing you too. Tip number eight, find out what feels good to you and to your partner and do more of that. Thank you again for watching our 8 tips on how to French kiss. Hopefully, you learned something new. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more love and relationship advice for women. Thank you and see you in our future videos.